The 1970s were a cesspool of political turmoil, unwanted warfare, and promiscuity. At least that's how this decade would have been described by conservative grandmothers of the time. The Vietnam War was now stretching into its second decade, leaving the nation racked with conflict. With all the explosive changes occurring, the women of this decade began abandoning their full skirts, fitted undergarments, and beehive hairdos for more modern fashions. One standout trend was the full-length maxi coat. The success of popular war flick Dr. Zhivago put the maxi coat on the map in 1965. The film was set in Russia during World War I and featured many characters wearing long, often fur-trimmed coats. Despite the fact that the movie was set almost 50 years prior, the success of the movie proved formidable and inspired designers to introduce this floor-sweeping coat into mainstream fashion. Maxi coats were seen in all colors and sizes. Some were trimmed in fur, some made of leather. Oftentimes these coats were worn in contrast with tiny skirts, known as miniskirts. The miniskirts' popularity rose during the mod movement of the 1960s and continued to flourish in tandem with the maxi coat. This particular maxi coat, donated by Patricia McDonald, is made of red polyurethane that would have been popular in the 70s. McDonald remembers that Beatlemania had struck America shortly before the purchase of this coat, and images of go-go boots and miniskirts were everywhere. She said she often wore the coat with her iconic white go-go boots and short dresses that, being in college at the time, she would wear to parties, movies, and any place she knew she would be having fun. It was polyurethane coated cotton with a shiny patent leather-like quality. Vinyl, or polyvinyl chloride, and polyurethane were popular for their sheen and were used in skirts, handbags, shoes, and even for shiny hot pants. The condition issues with these particular plastics, however, make for ever more challenging preservation issues with the passage of time. As these plastics deteriorate, the plasticizers migrate to the surface and slowly evaporate, leaving the material stiff and brittle. With time, they appear darker in color and may begin to crack with loss of flexibility. A controlled environment is crucial for prolonging the life of this maxi coat and other objects like it. Maxi coats represent a change in not only fashion, but also they are a direct reminder of the revolution in American mindset during the early 70s. It serves as an image of evolution of fashion and will likely be studied and admired for years to come. We pay tribute to the girl who first accepted the challenge, try this for thighs. We invite all British women who value their freedom not to cover their knees in shame. <laughs>